joys are gone before they can be possessed or even grasped. That's an interesting line from Jesus. The joys are gone before they can be possessed or even grasped. You know, if you have a, a glimmer of joy, or you just feel happy for no reason and everything, the ego will try to turn it into some kind of possession. You know, it will try to put the cause outside of your mind onto the world somewhere and, oh, I have joy with this person, or I have joy in this particular place or spot. It will try to immediately tie it to form. And then, but Jesus is saying they're gone before they can be possessed or even grasped. He's just saying how fleeting and ephemeral is those little spots of joy are. I find that true joy, the only way it comes into consistent awareness is through purpose. And Jesus is the way shower for that. You know, instead of being psychotic, he was one with the Father. I and the Father are one. Of that, he said the kingdom of heaven is within. Uh, he, he demonstrated a sense of lightheartedness, happiness, kindness. Um, he was very uncompromising. He demonstrated the will of the Father on earth, so to speak. And, and the only way you can be consistently joyful is to hear one voice. If you're still relying on a committee in your mind, there's not going to be consistent joy because the committee is meeting, you know, it's an ego committee. And it may come up with different, you know, answers, but it's not going to inspire joy. And I have had people recently tell me that they're coming to a more state of consistent peace, but they, they still don't feel like an exuberant joy, and it's like a real full joy. And I think that just comes when you become really tuned in to the Holy Spirit and, and consistently in, in alignment with that. So, but it's great to just rejoice and celebrate, even when you get these miraculous glimmers. Um, you can just praise God and be, give all the glory to God and everything, which is the safest thing to do. And then the ego, don't follow it when it tries to say, oh, you have joy because you're with this person or because it's this situation or something. <clears throat> because you've got it right. Because it's, it's not going to become consistent unless you're, you're in the passenger seat and you're not trying to steer the car. You know, when you're in such a place of, of following where you, you know, put the Holy Spirit of Jesus as the driver and just be a happy passenger. Uh, it's almost like the Gospel of Thomas, be, be passers-by <coughs> with this world. You know, don't, don't attribute the joy to anything in this world because it's so ephemeral. It's just, you aren't getting the joy from the images. It's coming from inside. <coughs>